Welcome to the Global Author Podcast. I'm Matt Connor Whiteley, science fiction, fantasy, and a global author, bringing you publishing, writing, book marketing, and a global author ideas of your book to help you sell more books and write better books. For more information and your free global author training, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And here's the show. Hi everyone and welcome to episode 71 of the Global Author Podcast with me, Con Whiteley. And today's episode is on choose your models, pick from their careers and don't uh, copy their maths. So this is an absolutely brilliant podcast episode that I really enjoy um, writing about video call no episodes. This is actually useful and this can be... To be honest, understanding this can really be the difference between having a long-term career and also not having it. Because if you try and, and adopt someone else's life as a, your own, unless you have the exact same career, or them, then you will run into tons of problems and you will just quit writing sooner or later. So this is a great podcast episode that you will enjoy. And it's Saturday the 30th of October 2021 as I record this. So before we move on to the main content part of today's episode, I just want to give you a quick personal update. So well, there's not been a great amount of things going on, except for I've been doing more like short stories, and I've sort of come up with a few new characters who will definitely turn up in like future short stories that I really enjoyed. And this is the great thing about just writing and just writing into the dark and like not plotting things out in advance because you were just discovered by new things and you really do find these amazing things that you want to like, explore. And I, when you're enjoying your books, then your readers will um, feel that through the book and they will enjoy it themselves. So, but besides from that, I've been doing lots of publishing. I've actually been doing sort of like extreme amounts of publishing. In fact, I've sort of, I know I've published or I know on my to-do list because what I've done is I've written down all the titles that I need to publish. And these include about 13 short stories at least up like five books and then also a like few collections so i've got at least 25 i think yeah well like things are to publish at some point and then i've also yes and then i've also like, written down all the different stores that yeah but like uh, stores that i need to publish them on so i've got lots and lots of things like to do i think it's like 250 plus things but of course i'm going to do it over a, a number of uh, weeks i've been doing like tons of that i really have been like chipping away at it like the publishing the creating the covers and also like doing it at the blurb so i really am like enjoying it and i'm just doing lots of uh yeah like lots of publishing at the moment that so i'm like pleased with and i actually thought that this personal update would be a bit longer than that so as always i always like, love to hear your thoughts and feelings on today's episode so you can always email me conwiley at conwiley.net you can always leave a comment at the show notes at theglobalauthor.com forward slash podcast and you can always tweet me on Twitter at theglobalauthor. I always love to hear from all of you. And today's episode has been sponsored by Your Author Business Plan by Joanna Pernas. This is an absolutely brilliant online course that I really do highly recommend it because it really goes into great depth about your offer business plan because at the end of the day we are businesses so we need to have a business plan and this is a great course that really gets you to think think about all the really interesting and like nitty gritty stuff as like your production schedule your promotional plans your offer ecosystem and this is such a great course i learned so much from this so I really do recommend this a great course especially if you want to become a professional longer term author and if you want to use my affiliate link so I get a small percentage of the income and no extra cost you, then please go to theglobaloffer.com forward slash business plan. I cannot recommend it enough. So well, let's move on to the content part of today's episode. So we're moving on to the content part of today's episode. So we're going to be talking about writing as an investment, which I think is absolutely a brilliant way to think about writing because writing is actually quite magical when it comes to making money. So I absolutely loved it. Because I think that when you come to think about writing in this sort of way, then it can really help you to start understanding the value of your work. Why thinking of writing as an investment? So we're going to go back to the basics slightly. Because when you write a book, short story or do any sort of writing, you have created a piece of intellectual property which is protected by copyright. Meaning unless you transfer full rights or do it with something like that, this piece of property can earn you money for the rest of your life plus 50, 70 years after your death. So that's the most basic thing that you need to understand because the hours you spend writing your novel, novella, short story, etc. can earn you money for the life, for the life of a copyright. And another term for this type of money is scalable income. Since you spend the time to create this piece of intellectual property once and you earn money on it over and over again. And that's amazing. 
and because of this it's easy to think about writing for the sole reason that you will spend some time doing the writing now and it pays you back over the next few decades. Of course it might not but if you keep writing, learning about craft, marketing, blurbs and publishing then it very well could earn you hundreds of times over. Quick bit of the maths. So for some easy maths, let's say that you wrote a short story that it took you one hour to write, then another hour to proof copy, well, um, proof copy edit, cover, blurb, and uh, publish it. To be honest, I know I'm a bit like generous there, so this is just for um, illustrative purposes. With this short story taking you about like two hours, uh, well, you have like two more hours to write. Then uh, let's say that each hour of your time is uh, worth like ten pounds. Then the cover costs you like one pound to do. So that's twenty one pounds all were told. And I know that these numbers like seem weird, but I did actually manage to write a 2,500 word short story the other day in an hour. And because I do my own professional covers, the art is the only cost in another note. So at £21, $27 in total. Let's say that you sell two copies a year, but in reality, the average of short story sells when in when you have a, a lot of them is a five copies per month, as well as you sell them for $2.99, making you a $2 royalty. So $27 divided by 2 means that you would be in a profit in 7 years. Then, okay, then if this continues to sell like that for another 10 years, you're making $40 a profit for 2 hours of work that you did 17 years ago. Well, that you did 17 years ago. And I laugh because to me that's just amazing. And if you just show just how brilliant um, writing is, and, well, yeah, well, like, as an investment, as a way to make money. So um, all in all, as I said, that the average is actually a lot higher when uh, you think uh, when you have a, a lot of uh, short stories and a uh, collection out. So you would probably make a lot more profit then at forty dollars. And I do just want to refer back to my August at twenty one challenge. So as I wrote this a blog post in mid August at twenty at twenty one, I yeah well I, I did a challenge, even though it really was not a challenge, where I wrote thirty short stories in a month in addition to some other projects that I was doing. And I know for a lot of like writers, the idea of that is a is a scary. But I'm doing it for this reason because I understand how writing works and writing as an investment and how copyright works. I know by spending this month at doing that something slightly crazy, I know this will benefit me in the long term and hopefully it make me a lot more money in the future as a writer. This mainly comes from thinking longer term because I know whether at least fifteen of these short stories will go through the main market. It's so well. They are going to be released for another year at a minimum longer if the short stories market to pick them up. But I see it as I'm making the product now and I'm getting paid for decades to come in addition to all the other writing that I do in between and in the far future. Conclusion. Whilst I don't deny this was definitely a more abstract episode <laughs> well, I, that I tend to do rather well, but I really hope that you found it useful and interesting and I hope that you are starting to see the amazing potential of a writing that because I love that writing and when you start to realise how much potential that writing actually has for like making you money then yeah you yeah you're just like I love it and you won't want to do anything else <laughs> so I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and that you got something out of it and if you know someone who would enjoy today's episode, then please share it with them. Um, I'm always really grateful when you wonderful people help us spread the word about the uh, podcast. And definitely please check out How to Write a, a Novel by Joanne Penn. It's an absolutely brilliant course that I highly recommend. So have a great day everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thanks sir, for listening today. I hope you found it useful. For more information, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And if you want to connect, then please reach out to me on Twitter at The Global Author. And you can find me on Facebook. For your free and exclusive Global Author video training, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash free. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.